Hello, and welcome to Gus McDowell Strategy and Tactics, and thank you to our subscribers. Today, we're playing Sonalus Combat Systems Fleet Command, an operational level naval combat simulator. Please remember to like the video and subscribe for more great strategy and tactics content. And if you want to show your support with a donation, the links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. In this campaign, Oil and Water, we look at a series of fictional naval operations undertaken by America and its allies in the Middle East, in the alternate 1990s world of Fleet Command. In this scenario, a line in the sand, a two-ship surface action group, has been detached to demonstrate freedom of navigation in the Libyan Gulf of Sidra. In the last episode, an American surface action group was attacked repeatedly by Libyan aircraft and ship-launched missiles while exercising the right of innocent passage under international law. The surface action group defended itself, shot down the missiles and three enemy planes, and sunk a patrol craft. In this episode, the surface action group must continue its freedom of navigation operation while defending against Libyan aircraft, missiles and surface ships. Let's examine the latest intelligence. New intelligence message received. There are Libyan patrol boats hiding among fishing boats. That explains the large number of unknown contacts near the hostile ships. We will need to be very careful before firing back to discriminate neutral from enemy ships. New tasking message received. You are ordered to destroy the Libyan airport located at latitude 3135 north, longitude 1442 east, and up to three surface-to-air missile sites within 10 miles. Dispatch FA-18 aircraft to conduct strike with Harm and Maverick ASMs. This new task will need to wait until the air and surface threats are managed. An air contact moving at 389 knots towards the SAG. Another travelling south and another pointed at the SAG at 383 knots, and another in trail 15 nautical miles behind. The last contacts travelling at that speed were military aircraft. The hostile surface tracks are al Sadad PCFG-533, al Qaeda Bia FFG-213, Tariq Ibn Ziyad FSG-416, and Shihab PCFG-524. The Tomcats fire an AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missile at the Shahab. and another at the Tariq Ibn Ziyad. This missile homes on the enemy's radar system. It forces the enemy to switch off radar or be destroyed. Nearby ships will also have to switch off radar or the harm missile will track and destroy them instead. So firing the harm first is a form of SEAD before engaging with Harpoon. The first harm tracks towards the target. Shahab is hit and damaged. Moderate damage with a fire amidships. The second harm closes in. Tariq Ibn Ziyad fires an SAN-4 Gecko surface-to-air missile. The second harm slams into Shahab. The fire has spread, causing further damage. Out. 
Affirmative. Classify track 3931. Affirmative out. The Hornets move to identify the inbound aircraft. It is flying straight and not maneuvering. Kill track 3919. Will do. Missile away track 3919. The Tomcats fire another harm. And another. One of the air contacts is maneuvering towards the Hornets. Take track three nine six six. Welcome. Missile away. Track three nine six six. Likely military, suspect hostile, and John Paul Jones engages with an SM two surface air missile. Roger out. Emergency emitter bearing one we'll seven do it. seven. The Hornets move east. Just in time as the unknown track launches a missile at them. Suspect hostile. Meanwhile, the first track is identified as neutral. Another aircraft has launched a missile. Suspect hostile. The Libyan missiles head towards the civilian aircraft. Downing a Beechcraft turboprop full of Italian nuns. Fortunately, the Boeing 747 has survived two Libyan missiles. The radar tapes will be heavily scrutinized later. Flash track three, nine, six, six. Revenge is swift, and the offending aircraft, a MiG-25 Foxbat, is shot down. The pilot ejects. The other aircraft closes Normandy and launches a missile. Affirmative. Out. Meanwhile, the third harm destroys Shahab. Kill track three nine six two. We'll go. Weapon away. Track three nine six two. Can do. Normandy fires an SM2 surface air missile at the inbound aircraft. It is another MiG-25 Foxbat. It turns, drops chafe, and races for the deck. Flares out. Libyan coastline ahead. The Sam misses. Kill track three nine six two. We'll do out. Weapon away track three nine six two. John Paul Jones fires a second missile. Normandy did not fire as the Boeing seven four seven was in the way. The Americans are trying to keep their aircraft north of the line and out of range of Libyan SAM.
the SM2 crosses the coast. Splash track 3962. And splashes the fox bat. It crashes into the sea. Tomcat fires another harm, this time at the Tari Kibbins Yard. These Libyan ships are not hiding behind fishing vessels, but make good targets out on their own. It's history, taking track 3913, can do. Weapon away, track 3913. The other Tomcat fires a harm at the Al Kirabia. The Normandy has just crossed the line of death. More aircraft are headed towards it from Libya. John Paul Jones engages the furthest. A new identification, an Al Ghazala FSG 417, in direct line of sight from Normandy. Normandy engages with a Harpoon missile. Engaging track 3918, will do. Missile away, track 3918. Can do. 384 knots, 898 knots, 987 knots, one doubtful, two military. John Paul Jones engages the second suspected military aircraft. Engaging track 4028, Wilco. Weapon away, track 4028. The harm strikes Al Qudabiya behind the bridge, causing damage. John Paul Jones re-engages with an SM2 SAM. Splash one Su-22 fitter. The pilot ejects. But his chute doesn't open. John Paul Jones re-engages. Engaging track 4027. Roger. Missile away. Track 4027. Normandy engages the mystery air track. Engaging track 4011. Roger. Out. Missile away. Track 4011. The harpoon is shot down 
and Normandy re-engages Ayn al-Ghazala. The lead Hornet fires an AMRAM at the unidentified military aircraft. Splash track 4027. Splash a Su-24 fencer. The aircraft to the south is moving like a military aircraft. Kill track four zero one one out. Weapon away track four zero one one. Normandy re-engages. We'll do out. Affirmative out. An unidentified northbound air contact at 200 knots, probably civilian. Anne Al Ghazala launches against the inbound harpoon. The slow-moving harpoon is destroyed. The SM-2 misses. Normandy re-engages. The aircraft is identified as a MiG-25 Foxbat, moving at almost 1600 knots. The lead Tomcat launches another harm. As does the second Tomcat. Engaging track three nine one four. We'll do out. This is away track three nine one four. More inbound air contacts. John Paul Jones engages the first. Taking track four zero five three. Wilco. Birds away. Track four. And the second. Take track four zero five seven. Wilco, open away track four zero five seven. The SM two chases the Foxbat into the desert. Tariq Ibn Ziyad fires an SAN-4 Gecko surface-to-air missile at the inbound harm. Splash track 4053. The Foxbat gets away, but the Su-24 fencer is shot down.
Tariq's radar attracts the harm. Hit and damaged. Al Sakab is also hit and damaged. John Paul Jones and Normandy both re-engage their air targets. We'll do. Affirmative out. Another miss. Killing track four zero five seven. We'll do. Miss him away. Track four zero five seven. Another re-engagement. And more aircraft launching from the airbase to the west. They are targeted on takeoff. Engaging track four zero seven three. We'll go out. Miss him away. Track four. Taking track four zero seven seven Roger out missile away track four zero seven seven Splash track four zero five seven Splash a Su twenty two fitter over the Gulf. Normandy re-engages Anne Al Ghazala with another Harpoon missile. Take track three nine one eight. We'll go weapon away. Track three nine one eight. Splash another Su-22 fitter. The pilot's chute opens this time. And another Su-22 fitter. The Americans are tearing the Libyan Air Force to pieces. Having fired their harm, the Tomcats now engage with Harpoon missiles. Two harpoons at a time now from the Normandy. Take track three nine one eight. We'll go. Missile away. Track three. Taking track three nine one eight. We'll do. Out. This is intended to defeat the surface air missiles protecting the Libyan ship. Weapon away. Track three nine one eight.
Another aircraft launches from the Libyan airbase. The pilot must be feeling quite nervous. John Paul Jones has crossed the line of death. Killing track 4085. Wilco, away track 4085. And engages the aircraft with an SM2 SAM. Back at Enterprise, time to prepare the strike package against the Libyan airbase. Six Hornets rearm for a strike mission profile. and four EA-6B Prowlers prepare to join the strike package for electronic warfare support. And Al-Ghazala fires on the incoming Harpoon. Splash track 4085. Splash another Su-22 fitter. The nervous pilot is killed before he can eject. Both Normandy's harpoons are defeated. Normandy fires two more. Kill track three, nine, one, eight, will do. Weapon away, track three, nine, one, eight, feet. Killing track three, nine, one, eight, will do. The harpoon from the Tomcat avoids an incoming surface to air missile. Roger. And another. but is shot down at the last. The Tomcats fire again. I've got them. Taking track. Three, nine, one, nine. We'll do. Roger, out. Weapon away. Track three, nine, one, nine. Tariq Ibn Ziyad fires another SAN-4 Gecko surface to missile. as does Ayn al-Ghazala. Identify track 3967. Can do. Roger, out. Roger. The Ghazala defeats another two harpoons. It is time to bring out the Tomahawk. Kill track three nine one eight. Affirmative. Missile away. Track three nine one eight. Can do, out. Out. 
The Hornets moved to intercept and visually identify two eastbound air contacts. A harpoon is headed to the Shula PCFG 532. Gazala fires at the Tomahawk. The Tomahawk is defeated. The Harpoon tracks towards Shula. Shula is hit and destroyed. The remaining missiles have been defeated. Normandy fires another two Tomahawks. Taking track three, nine, one, eight. We'll go out. Missile away. Track three, nine, one, eight. Taking track three, nine, one, eight. We'll do. Missile away. Track three, nine, one, eight. Failure is not an option. One of the Hornets has crossed the Libyan coastline to identify neutral air. Classified track 3937. Will do. Roger out. In this case, an Airbus A300. But the Libyan Air Force is in no position to intervene. The first Tomahawk is defeated. Track three, nine, three, seven, identified as neutral air out. Kill track three, nine, one, eight. But the second Tomahawk gets through and kills the Ann Al Ghazala, a Nanuchka 3 FSG. The Libyan ship mounted a valiant defense against multiple inbound missiles, but is finally defeated. It rolls to starboard and disappears into the Gulf of Sidra. This is a good time to pause the action for now and come back to the operation in the next episode. In this episode, the American Surface Action Group continued its freedom of navigation operation in the Gulf of Sidra in the face of repeated attacks by Libyan aircraft. In the next episode, the Surface Action Group must continue its freedom of navigation operation and clear the Libyan Navy from the Gulf of Sidra. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and donate, and stay tuned for the next episode.